And this week, a brand new home is being delivered to Sheraton, Iowa, to replace an old abandoned one in the neighborhood. We're told it wouldn't be possible without a bunch of organizations working together to do this. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning from Sheraton. And Griffin, what can you tell us about this? Who's behind it all? Well, Hyvee and Midwest Heritage Bank have been working with Sheraton over the past five years to revitalize homes. But this project, this is their first one where they're building one outright. And they partnered with Homes for Iowa to do it. Homes for Iowa is a state run program that lets inmates at the Newton Correctional Facility learn trades and help provide low cost housing for Iowans. Homes for Iowa built the home for Sheraton. All that's left now is for it to be delivered and set in the foundation this week. Hyvee will sell the home and all the profits go towards the revitalization program. The idea is to create a sustainable fund to help rebuild rural homes across Sheraton. And so far, it's been working. Homes for Iowa is, is a new partnership. We actually, uh, Lieutenant Governor Greg came down and he's helped us with two projects. Um, he came in and actually did demo work on two different homes and he shared with us uh, the, the project at the Newton facility. Um, so we reached out and uh, he helped facilitate that and then uh, we partnered up with uh, Homes for Iowa and were able to, uh, again, it was, a, it was a perfect fit. We found a home that was no longer in, inhabitable. Uh, it, was a, it was a great opportunity to put something in. So we have this dirt lot behind me with the foundations behind this pile and it may not be much to look at right now, but this was where that abandoned town was and where later this week there's going to be that brand new home that Homes for Iowa built. And it's really cool to see that, you know, they're able to do this, able to take a place that was kind of an eyesore and turn it into a brand new home. This is on a busy street corner here in Sheraton. So it's nice to have that eyesore removed and replaced with some nice new housing and the money from selling that house is going to go back into the program. So it's kind of passing it forward onto the next home here that they're able to do this with really kind of working to revitalize and rebuild a lot of these rural homes out here in Sheraton. Definitely replacing old with the new and Griffin, did they tell you exactly what date they're going to be able to bring that new home in? Yep, so the plan is this Thursday. They had to wait for the ground to dry. Originally, it was going to happen last week, but again, the uh, dirt was a little too muddy for them to go ahead and do it. They want to make sure that everything is right when they set that home up in the foundation. I'm sure it's uh, not super easy to move a whole home all the way to a new location. So they want to make sure that that ground is dry enough. So that's they're looking at this Thursday as the day they're going to actually be moving and setting everything up. Yes, that would be a process, no doubt. Okay, fingers crossed for Thursday. Griffin Wright reporting live for, for us in Sheraton this morning. Thank you, Griffin.